have been the presence of graduate report of semantics. Semantics indeed is a study of meaning. But before beginning, I would like to raise a question and I would be delighted to hear your answers. What is the definition of meaning? The definition of meaning. What's your information about this term? The message of the sentences. The message of the sentences. Okay. Yes, sir. I can give a specific words that the, the perception can understand it. Your perception is. Okay. But indeed, this is a tricky question. There is no definition of meaning. As the meaning itself is abstract, it's hard to define meaning. So it's better to understand or to define the dimensions of meaning. So we have three dimensions of meaning. Uh, denotation, reference, and connotation. Mm -hmm. So in order to understand the, den the denotation and reference, we have to pay attention or draw attention to this triangle. Please concentrate, as once you understand this problem, the whole story of semantics will be as a piece of cake. Okay? Once we have a word, and word itself will move to the concept, and concept itself will move to the object, and again object will move to the word. So why word? Why begin with word? Because word itself is the linguistic aspect, the concrete one. So this is the linguistic aspect. Okay? And move to the concept. Why concept? Concept itself is the association in the mind of the speaker of the writer. So once I'm mentioning where I mention the word, there is a sort of mental picture will pop up in the mind of the hearer of the listener. Will it share in, in your mind? So there is a mental relationship between the word and concept. So why mental? As the word, the, the word itself evokes some something in the mind of the speaker or the writer. Okay? And the concept itself will move to the object. So why concept moves the object? Because once object needs to be realized, it has to refer to a certain worldly object, object in, in the world. Mm -hmm. So we, we agree that the concept of the chair is referring to a certain physical object. Mm -hmm. So when I'm having a sort of concept <coughs> in my mind, if I'd like to refer to the pen, I have to, not to refer in the mind, but I have to refer to a certain worldly object, mm -hmm. okay? And the object itself will move to the world again. Mm -hmm. So why? We agree about that. That this sort of flower, the world flower, the symbols, we agree the symbols is set for a certain well, a certain, a certain object in the real world. Mm -hmm. So Emma, if I'm saying the word, this word, you will hear it and share a sort of mental picture. Mm -hmm. And if, I, if I'm asking you to refer to a certain example, mm -hmm. you will refer to the word in the ground. Mm -hmm. Okay? So I hope this triangle is under, being understood. But, um, sorry for the interruption, but in this case, you're talking about the kind of developed language. Because before having a language, before having words, you only have objects without any preference to any certain words. But once we understand what we... But once we understand, we search for words to be opposite for or to be uh, a reference to a certain object. Yes. So it's the relation between signifier and signified. Okay? So once I'd like to refer to my book, I have to put what, uh, word the word as a signifier. And concept as signifier. Signifier. Exactly. If you would, I like. Awesome. Awesome. And object as a reference. Okay. So let's touch on the dimensions of meaning. Mm -hmm. So first we have the denotation. Denotation is the word in dictionary. Mm -hmm. It's not yet specific. Mm -hmm. So if I'm searching for a certain word like uh, a door, mm -hmm. and I open my dictionary, I find many different denotations and denotators of the certain word. Yes. Like, like the, the door of the car, the door of the house, I bought the door. Mm -hmm. So also, the case of denotation is bounded by two things. The type and the possible meaning of one linguistic expression. Mm -hmm. The possible meaning. If I'm saying the word of pen, mm -hmm. pen itself, what, what is the pen? Mm -hmm. the, the tool of writing 
or the, the female of the goose, mm -hmm. or the house of the cows. Mm -hmm. What is the thing? Mm -hmm. Once I'm referring to a certain uh, uh, example or a certain type, here, this is the reference, the stage of reference. Mm -hmm. Once I'm referring to a certain <coughs> type or certain meaning, so this is the reference. Mm -hmm. So let's move to a different topic, which mm -hmm. is connotation. Mm -hmm. Connotation indeed is, is divided into two types. Mm -hmm. Connotation is the personal connotation and the societal connotation. Mm -hmm. Personal connotation, I'm saying the word woman. Mm -hmm. I myself value woman as effective member in her work like a man. Mm -hmm. But uh, my friend who lives in the countryside value her as a uh, queen in her house. Mm -hmm. So this is his connotation in his mind. Mm -hmm. Also, once I'm referring to the, the societal connotation, mm -hmm. the word America, mm -hmm. we agree about the connotation of America, the geographical and the historical background. Mm -hmm. But what about my, our, we uh, as Egyptians, our mm -hmm. connotation about America is not on our favor, mm -hmm. it's not on our side, America. But what about the Israel? Mm -hmm. It's totally different connotation. Mm -hmm. And that's about all. Hopefully, you understand. What I've said as this is the main basis of uh, semantic yeah. section. Okay. Thank you, Dr. Nadat, for being here.